In this video, we're going to be using a multimeter to read AC voltage. If you are unfamiliar with use of a multimeter or electrical safety, do not use this video as an instructional video. Seek professional assistance. Electricity can kill. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your meter and make sure it's set up to read volts AC. You want to make sure your red meter lead is in the volt socket. And you want to make sure your black meter lead is in the common ground socket. The other two sockets on the side are for amps. You have any meter lead plugged in there while you're trying to read voltage. You're going to have arcing and sparking and short out and blurring up your meter. So make sure your meter leads are in the right position. Okay, we're going to put an alligator clamp on the threaded edge of the socket and we're going to connect the other side of the alligator clip to the meter lead that's plugged into the ground part of our voltmeter. Okay, we're on the threaded edge of the metal socket. That's your ground part of your light socket. Now we have our meter selected in the volts DC position. We're going to move it to the volts AC because this is an AC voltage we're going to be reading. We have some stray voltage in the atmosphere. And we can verify that stray by touching the positive meter lead to a ground and it goes away. That is just atmospheric voltage. Okay, now we need to take our meter lead and touch the center contact of our light socket. That's the contact on this light socket that is copper or brass in color. And you need to be real careful because if you are touching that brass contact and you touch the side walls, the threaded walls, you directly short out the circuit and you're going to have some arcing and sparking. And there we're reading 121.9 volts AC. So we have good voltage and we have our voltage in the circuit on the contact where it should be. So our lamp is wired properly. Sometimes you want to take your meter and touch the sides of the lamp to make sure we have no straight voltage on the body of the lamp. And I will turn off our light switch and verify our light switch is working. And we read our stray voltage. So our light switch is working. And we'll turn our lamp back on. And we'll check and we'll get 121 volts just like it's supposed to be. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.